Hello and welcome to Cataclysm University. My name is Vormithrax. I'll be your instructor today. And this is course number 20 where we'll be discussing tile sets. So tile sets in Cataclysm basically are the graphics that you see representing the various monsters, vehicles, buildings, ground. Pretty much everything you see is done by a tile set. And there are a number of different tile sets that are included with Cataclysm, and especially if you're running with the launcher, which I do recommend. See a previous course on the launcher if you don't happen to be using it. It's very, very useful and valuable. Um, but when you use the launcher and you install the game by default settings, then when you enter the game through the graphics menu options, you have a choice for a tile set. And I'll show you where that option is in just a moment. And that basically dictates what pictures you want to use for all the various monsters and items in the game. So this tile set that I've used mostly for the university videos, I think, has been solely the Chest Hole 32 tile set. That's kind of the default one that I like to use in a lot of my playthroughs. Um, I've also used a newer one called M Zotto Plus that I'll show you in a short bit. And that one actually has to be manually downloaded and installed in order for it to work. It's not part of the default installation, but no fear. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well. All right, so... This is the basic graphics with the chest hole 32 tile set, and I'm going to zoom in a bit and then kind of look around at a few things so you can get an idea. So if I detach the cursor, there's a zombie hulk, that's an APC, or an, actually that's a Humvee. Down here we have a chicken walker robot, and we've got a Shoggoth. So lots of critters, you recognize most of these probably, skeletons, child zombies, regular zombies, there's the dreaded spitter zombie that I hate so much and so on. So you get an idea of the tile set. So here's how you change tile sets within the game. If you just go to the escape menu, or hit escape to bring up the main menu, go to options, then use the tab key to move over to graphics, and right here is your tile set option. So it just says choose tile set, and you can see currently it is set to chest hole 32. Yes, you can change this on the fly inside the game whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to that other one that I mentioned, the M Zotto Plus. And I'm just using the arrow keys to scroll through the list. And there is the one I'm talking about. So this is the M Zotto Plus tile set. Whoops. Once I've got it set to that, I'll hit Escape, say Yes to save changes. And this is where it's actually going to load the new graphics settings. And there we go. Now we have the M Zotto Plus tile set installed. And if we zoom in, there's going to be quite a few differences. The color balance on the ground itself is different, so it's not quite as cartoony. So some people prefer one or the other. I like the M Zotto Plus specifically when I play with PK's rebalancing mod installed because it has more of the graphics represented for the huge number of new critters and items that are added in via that uh, rebalancing mod. So when you play it with just the chest hole or some of these other tile sets, you'll have a lot of creatures and items represented just by the ASCII symbols. They won't actually have graphics represented. So that's one of the reasons I like the M Zotto Plus when I'm playing the uh, PK's rebalancing. Plus, it's just good for a change of pace. Um, it does take a little bit of time to get used to and recognize some of the creatures once you're used to the other tile sets, but it's not a big problem. So let me look around a bit. So there's that Hulk. You can see complete change in a lot of parts for the, uh, the Humvee. So the camouflage coloring is different. Um, there's the broken cyborg. He's really different. Chicken Walker didn't change much. Shoggoth didn't change much. But that Necromancer changed completely. Or that's the Zombie Master, that is. And you can see the regular zombies changed. And a completely different graphic for the dreaded Spitter Zombie. And it's very simple to change back again. You just go back to Options, Graphics, and set it back to Chest Hole. And that's all there is to it. So, you can pick your preference however you'd like. Feel free to investigate the other options. I haven't played with too many of the other choices myself. There's various reasons to uh, use them or not use them. Usually when you see a number, it represents the uh, pixels, so 32-bit versus 16-bit, for example. Um, but there are other reasons to pick from these, so feel free to choose between them. No damage or problems, just come back and change it back to whatever you'd like when you're done. Now, the last thing I want to mention is how to install tile sets that are not part of this basic introductory list. 
So the Mzotto Plus, as I mentioned, is not normally on this list. I had to manually install it, and once I did and did it properly, then it does show up when you just arrow through this list of options. So how do you do that? Well, let me first cancel out of there, and I'm going to close out of the game. All right, so here's how you go ahead and install that. Let me bring this over here. So this here is, uh, oops, get out of the way, you. <laughs> All right, so this is my Cataclysm directory. So just CDEA is where I installed it, and inside my main Cataclysm directory, you have these folders. There is a particular folder, the graphics folder, when you open that, these are all of the tile sets that are in that list that you just saw. So you can see the chest hole 16 and 32 tile sets. You can see the M Shock Zotto Plus tile set, and so on. So all you do if you want to add a new tile set to your gameplay is download the tile set from whatever source you get it from and stay safe out there on the big bad internet, folks. But you download your tile set information. Usually you'll have to unzip it or unpack it, whichever. And once you've done that, just make sure that the folder that's created when you do that is unzipped or unpacked and or copied into this folder, into the graphics, the GFX folder. So it should show just like this. So you've got all the various tile sets and your new one should be listed here somewhere. And then if you open it up, you'll see just a few files. So this is all it takes to actually do the tile set. So it's not going to look like much, but yes, all of the tiles are represented in here. And that's all there is to it. Once you have copied this correctly or unpacked it, unzipped it into the correct location, when you launch your game and you go to that options menu and the uh, tile set settings you'll be able to see it on the list and there's no nothing else to it so it's as simple as that so just a matter of downloading it unzipping or unpacking it into the correct location which is your cataclysm folder specifically into the graphics subfolder and you're all set to go and that will cover it for this episode. So, short course, but I think it's valuable. I've had a number of people asking me about tile sets and some of the ones they've seen me use. So that's how you do it and why you would want to do it. So it just gives a good flavor change. Um, people have their own preferences. So I recommend you test all the tile sets, see which one you like the most. Some will have more of the graphics represented than others. Some are updated more often than others. So you just kind of have to pay attention. Uh, to the resources and the reference materials and the websites and forums and wikis and reddit pages and so on uh, to kind of get an idea or ask people what they prefer and uh, kind of test them out and see how they do. So I hope you found the information helpful. As always, please do use the social media references down below in my links to uh, get a hold of me on the various platforms or you can visit me on my Discord channel where I've got a lot of folks that also can help you out if I don't happen to be available. So we've got a crowd of folks there that uh, like to chat about the game and share information. So we'd love to see you, and I hope to see you in the next episode and in my other playthroughs. Have a great day. Bye-bye.